Right now, though, we are starting off tracking coronavirus for you by the numbers tonight as the COVID-19 case count climbs in Tennessee. The mask debate, well, it continues. Yeah, in a media briefing this afternoon, within the last hour, Governor Lee announced he will continue to allow county leaders to make their own rules regarding face coverings through the end of this year. WAT6 on your side, reporter Jordan Brown joining us now with more. Jordan. Well, Bo, Lori, it's been a sticky subject since the pandemic started. For some, it's simple, wear a mask. But with case numbers going up, even in counties where masks are required, others aren't as convinced they're really working. COVID-19 case numbers are going up, but the debate over masks still continues. Since the start of the pandemic, there have been mixed views on whether or not people should be required to wear a mask. Back in July, Governor Lee gave county leaders the power to make their own rules. I appreciate the, the governor giving us that freedom to do that, and I think that uh, putting it in local hands is, is the best way to keep the, the pulse on the community. Governor Lee announced Tuesday that he will extend that power through the end of this year. Some mayors chose not to enforce a mask requirement, like Loudoun County Mayor Buddy Bradshaw. He says despite the rise in cases, he won't be making any changes. I think we're going to hold the course for the time being. And of course, I'm not saying never say never, but I think you look at our industry base and that our essential businesses that are here, I think, uh, you know, the, the mask, I, I still feel those are infringement on rights, and I think risking any type of a shutdown only hurts our small businesses as well. Knox County has enforced a mandate, but not everybody is on board, like nurse practitioner this Debbie Stafford. I think the, the mandate's terrible for the county. We've only really known about this virus for less than a year. Um, I'm of the opinion that we can't get away from it unless we stay locked up in our homes forever, and that's not really living. According to an unpublished report for the White House Coronavirus Task Force, Tennessee is now listed as a red zone state. But for now, nothing changes. And as we mentioned, the power to enforce mask mandates is still in the hands of county officials through the end of this year.